Hey, hey, welcome back here to the Walshman Homestead. I'm Megan. I'm so happy that you are here. Um, so I want to give a quick update real quick before I start with um, this reading for this week. Um, I had posted in the community tab on our page and then in a couple places on social media. Um, last Thursday, our oldest coon dog chopper um, got out and we have yet to find him. Um, and it's really hitting us hard. Um, he was 14. We've had him. Dylan's had him probably 11 years. And um, they have a lot of memories together. And just, he was a really good dog. And we have luckily got to meet a lot of the neighbors. And we've put out flyers. And we've walked and walked and walked. But um, it's a lot of ground to cover. And the uh, topography is a whole lot different out here than at the last house. So we just keep praying over it and um, know that God has him wherever he is. So I just kind of wanted to give that update. That's why there was not a video out earlier this week. So I hope that y'all can understand. Um, so this week's Bible readings, I will put a little picture right here so you can follow along. There is Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 18 through chapter 21, verse nine. And then we have Isaiah 51, verse 12 through 52, verse 12. And then we have the Gospels of John, chapter 14, 9 through 20. So, I would love if you'd go get your Bible and come join. Come read with me. So, I'm going to read a little bit of um, Isaiah. And then I'm going to jump into um, the Gospels. So, Isaiah. I just finished reading Isaiah and it's just... It's just beautiful. I, yes I, am the one who comforts you. Why are you afraid of man who must die? Of a human being who will, be, who will wither like grass? Have you forgotten that Adonai, your maker, who stretches out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth? Instead, you are in constant fear all day because of the oppressor's rage as he prepares to destroy you. But where is the oppressor's rage? The captive will soon be set free. He will not die and go down to Sheol. On the contrary, his food supply will be secure. For I am Adonai your God, who stirs up the sea, who makes its waves roar. Adonai Sebot is my name. I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand in order to plant the skies anew. Lay the foundations of the earth anew and say to Zion, you are my people. Awake, awake. Stand up, Jerusalem, which is Jerusalem. At Adonai's hand, you drank the cup of his fury. You have drank Drained to the dregs the goblet of drunkenness, there is no one to guide her. Among all the sons she has bore, not one of all the children she has raised is taking her by the hand. These two disasters have overcome you, yet who will grieve with you? Plunder the destruction, famine and sword. By whom can I comfort you? Your children lie helpless. At, this, at every street corner, like the antelope trapped in a net. They are full of Adonai's fury, the rebuke of your God. Therefore, please hear this in your affliction. You who are drunk, but not with wine. This is what your Lord, Adonai, says. Your God who defends his people. Here I have removed from your hand the cup of drunkenness, the goblet of my fury, you will never drink it again. I will put it in the hands of your tormentors. Who said to you, bend down so we can trample you? And you flattened your backs to the ground like a street for them to walk on. So that was part of Isaiah 51. And then I'm going to go ahead and read John 14. John 14 verse 9. Yeshua replied to them, Have I been with you so long without your knowing me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. 
So how can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am united with the Father and the Father is united with me? What I am telling you, I am not saying it on my own initiative. The Father living in me has done his own works. Trust me that I am united with the Father and the union the Father is united with me. But if you can't, then trust because of the works themselves. Yes, indeed. I tell you that whoever trusts in me will also do the works that I do. Indeed, he will do greater ones because I am going to the Father. In fact, whatever you ask in my name, I will do. So that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me for something in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commandments and I will ask the father and he will give you another comforting counselor like me the spirit of truth to be with you forever the world cannot receive him because it is neither it neither sees him nor knows him you know him because he is staying with you and will be united with you I will not leave you orphans. I am coming to you. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you too will live. When the day comes, you will know that I am united with my Father, and you with me, and I with you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Thank you for joining me in reading scripture today. I did read from the Complete Jewish Bible. It is my favorite translation right now. Um, but you read what you feel like you're comfortable with. You read what you are able to understand and to know. I pray that this reading somehow blesses you and that you seek him and that when you do, you find him because he is good and he is faithful. Yesterday, it's been a year since we signed for our homestead and the beautiful things that are still happening, the blessings that we are still seeing from that. It's just amazing. He is good and he is faithful. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. And may he give you his shalom, his peace.